Life in a world that keeps changing Think that it's progress you're making Copy and paste pretty faces All the time Picture so perfect we play Hello everyone, welcome to Anointed Lady TV, the home of news and politics. If it is your first time in this channel, you are highly welcome. Thank you so much for stopping by. And if you like what we do on this channel, hit on the subscribe button. Also put on the notification bell so you'll be notified by YouTube anytime we drop a new video. And if you are returning subscribers, thank you very much for always coming back to watch our videos. On this platform, we drop videos every day and we react to every video that come our way. And on this very video, I will be watching with you. And after watching, let's go to the comment section and drop our opinion constructively. Like our videos and also share our videos if possible. See you next time in my next Update don't show. And on a no say for this app, my work on today arrange updates can give on. You know, as we strive for excellence in the history of our democracy, in our great dear nation Nigeria, update don't show. Now, number 16, President Alahaji Ahmed Bola Tinubu has arrived Paris in France. Yes, Paris. For a two-day global financing pact summit. Yes, Sahara reporters, they let us know, say, not be only the summit now in Jagaban, go say Jagaban, go use that opportunity, see his medical team, <laughs> you know, make them for arrange them, you know, maybe because of the stress when he don't undergo in these few days in office, say, maybe make him medical team arrange them, you know, do you know, you know, you know what I'm talking about. Now, that one not be the news why I carry on, but before I progress into the news, the update where carry me come now, I want to make you see the video first when Jagaban they are land, they land for France. You know, one thing what I like about the video now, wait till how Jagaban takes speak for ne, give the little child away, give him flower. <laughs> you know, Jagaban they speak for ne, Jagaban they still they speak for ne, <laughs> even at this age. I'm gonna watch the video first before I arrange you the update. Come. President Bola Ametinubu has arrived in Paris in his first official trip out of the country. President Bola Ametinubu is expected to join world leaders to review and sign new global financial pact that places vulnerable countries on a priority list for support and investment, and that's following the devastating impact of climate change, energy crisis, and the COVID-19 pandemic. Um, the president will also attend a two-day summit on June the 22nd and 23rd. Um, he will explore opportunities to restore um, fiscal space to countries dealing with uh, difficult short-term financial challenges, specifically the most indebted. What you're seeing on your screen is um, President Tinubu's arrival in Paris um, in his first official visit. Let's also tell you that this is an exclusive footage um, for TVC News. The breaking news now, the breaking news now, be say the current government, starting from Mr. President down to the governors, down to the legislator, the National Assembly, they have been offered immediate salary increase of 114 <laughs> percent automatic. That is to say that Mr. Jagaban, the president, the vice president, all the legislators, as well as all the every other public office holder will have a salary increase of 114 <laughs> percent. Country where they no get money. But do you know amazing thing about this update now, this salary increase? This our politicians, this our leaders will govern us. And they already told us that we will have 40 percent increase that we will pay 40 percent more on electricity and not only that and that we are already paying over 200 percent on petroleum product on pms that is the interesting part of this government this current administration you know as an advocate of good governance as an advocate of free speech using public funds for the public good of the people as an advocate of good governance i say make i bring you this update because why my work now today give you updates all I'm advocating for is a better Nigeria. All I'm advocating for is a better nation. 
So as I bring you this update, make you analyze them. Drop your opinion, drop your comment. And one more thing, try share this video, man, another person's here. That being said, I don't know why they give on us some of this breaking news. I have always wished and prayed in my heart that a time will emerge in this nation where we will have passionate leaders, leaders that will put Nigerians first ahead of them, ahead of themselves, leaders that will put Nigeria in the forefront, leaders that will consider the hundred million children that are out of school before themselves. Because you cannot tell me that giving politicians 114 percent salary increase is more important than the hundred million children that are out of school you cannot tell me that it is more important than the nigerians that are going to pay over 200 percent increase in petroleum prices you will not tell me that it is more important over the lives of nigerians that will pay 40 percent increment in electricity that they don't even have because it is common that at the end of the month that NEPA or PHCN will bring bill to you. Whether you consume the electricity or not, you have to pay. Yeah. Normally, I don't like to talk about politics or anything. Eh? But if somebody is doing something well, maybe they use our sense, they heal them. He removes subsidies. Some people say, oh, he's not supposed to do it that way. This one, that one, that one. You do know how difficult this country is to rule. I'm not, I don't like to talk about politics. Right now, the price of fuel, right, of PMS has gone up. But nobody's talking about gas. You don't say gas don't go down. Nobody's talking about that. Let's leave that aside. President Tinubu now just signed in a bill, signed a law that guarantees us to have steady power supply. Nobody's talking about that one. In how many days? This guy they walk. My old man, they shake. This one, that one. If they walk, oh, when are dead there, they castigate them. Oh, we call them man, they man they kill you there. This man they walk. Pray. And the comedian the one came about to say that Mr. President is walking, that he needs to be praised, that they need to kill cow for him. Let me remind some of you something. It is very common in Africa, especially in Nigeria that people become used to suffering that they lost their sense of reasoning <laughs> i know the verse for anybody anything where you like talk anything where you won't say say it is allowed in this nation you are sharing your opinion and that is why i'm also sharing my opinion but let me clear your doubts more sometimes if you don't know what to say don't say it don't say something because you want to say something sometimes it becomes irresponsible there are a lot of celebrities in Nigeria who are not openly supporting any politician. Not because they don't know who is most competent, but because they want to be careful with the things they say. This is one. Number two, do you know in a country where we do not even have steady electricity and the, the, the politicians are getting 114% salary increase, and somebody is coming to talk about praising somebody. Do you know that there are countries where you as a citizen, the moment you put to bed as a woman, you stop going to work. And for one year, you will be paid. For one year, they go to pay you salary. The company place where you they work go to pay you salary. Government go pay you money join until that child reach 25 years. Education are free. You go go school, even to university level. We are not talking about electricity because now pay as you go. We are not talking about other basic amenities. Those ones now pay as you go. And yet somebody, they tell us, say, we suppose go buy cow. Go hire, uh, go hire uh, musicians. Come begin the sing praise. They go Abuja. For, to go Abuja, go do what? Over what? That is my question. If we buy goats and buy fish, begin the sing praise, they follow some politicians for Nigeria. <laughs> What do we go do for the president of countries like United States of America, countries like Germany, countries like Denmark, countries like UK, countries like Paris, France, countries like Denmark, countries like Canada? What do we go do for their president? <laughs> what, what do we go do for their president? We we'll go sell the whole Africa, use the money, buy fish, go give them. Being a politician, being a public office holder is a privilege. To work to the interest of the society using public funds for the public good of the people nobody for any reason should begin to make fireworks or begin to go hire organic music 
to come and sing and dance for you. It is only in Africa. Every president of Germany, every president of United States of America, every president of UK, Canada, Denmark, Sweden, Poland, the moment you ascend the throne of leadership, you already know that much is expected of you to make the lives of the citizens better. Nobody needs to remind you. That is the mentality we must put up in Africa. Because every little thing, they go remind us, they go begin use America, give us instances in Nigeria, our politicians. They will tell us, yes, other countries are selling petrol very high. Why can't we sell them? They will tell us other countries are doing this. It is also time to remind them what the presidents of other countries are doing. Even when we have the money. Now where is the boss brain be that? The money day. But a certain collection of few people, they chop the money. There is nothing bad in drawing comparison between one president and, and, and another. There is nothing wrong in comparing the achievement of one president from another. There is nothing wrong in that. But everything becomes wrong when our mentality lacks credibility. When our mentality lacks direction. When our mentality lacks due process. That is the problem of a black man. A black man is always in a hurry to his destination. A black man always want to jump. Want to jump due process. That is the problem we have in this country. All of honor. You know the... So many of you, so many of you have short memories. And that is why, after one year or two years, you go see them. They go begin come out for social media, they complain. Well, as you don't watch this video, share them another person see them. God bless you. Another update where they now be say, the special advisor to Alaji Atiku Abubakar on public communication, Mr. Frank Shaibu, don't reply former governor, Yesom Ezenwa, as he the sweet us, he the pen them weak. <coughs> the man don't reply weak. Tell and say, na lie. Say nobody poison you. Say what you do your two kidney. Say na alcohol. No be me talk am. On a no say, recently, weak was granted a public interview where he said that his two kidneys were shut down. I beg, make you no be like saying I mean they form this news. Make you listen to week before I go play you the video where the special advisor to Alaji Atiku Abubaka, they give week woto woto. It was bad. My kidney had gone. My liver had gone. And they were looking at me. Was for stories, the special assistant on public communication to Mr. Tiko Bubaka, Mr. Frank Shaibu has attributed, and this is the revelations over the failure of his organs at the Thanksgiving ceremony on Sunday by the former governor of River State, Yusuf Wike, after suspected poisoning in 2018, uh, to what Mr. Shaibu calls likely alcohol poisoning and not food poisoning. In a statement, the essay to Mr. Bubaka says, quote, I'm not a medical doctor, but it is general knowledge knowledge that excessive alcohol consumption leads to high blood pressure, heart disease, stroke, liver disease, digestive problems and others. He further advised the former governor to reduce his consumption of alcohol. He also spoke about Governor McIndy, whom he advised to focus on delivering the dividends of democracy to the people, referring to him as the only G5 member who currently holds political office. Shabian, I don't see the video now. Now so it be. In life, I have always said this. For everything under the heaven, there is time and season. Yes. Ecclesiastes chapter 3 from verse 1. He go read and they go. There is time to be born and there is a time to die. There is a time to celebrate and there is a time to mourn. In this life, every political position where you get is only but for some time. That is why Peter will be said... If you find yourself in any public office, make you use your office for the public good of the people. That it is a privilege, it's a gift from God to serve the people to the best of your ability. The man went further to give some advice to Shei Makin, the one of the G5 governors. <laughs> On another say recently, EFCC invited one of the G5 governors, governor of Benue State, the former governor of Benue State. Yes, so my people, as I told, I say I go come back. I don't come back. I will come back. As soon as I see that video, I watch. I will see him. I want more. I leave. I comment for the comment section there. More. I tell me. I will not see the matter. Whether he good or he bad. If he good, make. I let me know. 
If you still bad, no one has still let me know. Now remember, say everybody gets freedom of speech. Okay? Alright. Thank you very much. Good day, ladies and gentlemen. Good day, my brothers and sisters, my mommies and my daddies over there. Is your sister again, your doctor, your friend, your girl, admitted lady TV? Please, if today is your first time of coming across my YouTube channel, please do subscribe for me. Subscribe and turn on the notification bell. So each time I upload any video, you will be notified. So in this my channel, I will be bringing up many things to you in which you will benefit from it. I do talk show, I do news, anything you want to talk about, I am into it. Please subscribe, subscribe and turn on the notification bell. So each time I upload any video or each time I'm on live on YouTube, you will be notified. Thank you very much for always being there for me. Please do subscribe for me and as you do so, God will richly bless you and meet your heart desire. Thank you very much. I love you all.